Welcome back to the archives. On this episode is probably one of the heaviest things we've done to this tractor so far. We're gonna do bull gears today. We're gonna change out some wheels today and even do some brakes. So if you're wondering how to do it, you came to the right place. And we got some game shows in this episode. We're gonna show you how Sam can win some money. Hit that subscribe button and let's see what we can get into. All right, so we came in. David's already been working this morning, so he's got the PTO housing off here, and he's also undone the gear shifter. The thing we want to check is to make sure this rear end isn't too far gone and make sure the transmission's okay. We know that we do have one tractor with the whole rear end, so we're going to check that one as well. So that's where we're at. Now, when you're checking your PTO, what are you what are you looking for? Like, what am I looking at? Well, actually, this is a throwout bearing here, just like a clutch. So the lever it has a set of forks, and it pushes the throwout bearing in, and it then what it does there's a pressure plate here that pushes against the clutch. So this is just almost identical to the tractor clutch. It's smaller, but it's just like that, so that when you engage that. It, it pops this in, then it uh, squeezes these two steel plates against the, uh, the disc in the center, and that's what engages the PTO. Now this tractor is unique in the fact that the shaft that comes through from the engine all the way back, if the engine's running, the shaft inside is turning. And then so you can turn this off and on at any time and then we call that a live PTO. This is why David's here. I, I really don't know much about little things like this. I've never really worked on tractors myself, so this has been a learning experience. And we're learning as we go, so you are too. <laughs> there we go. All right, now save that spring, get it out. You, you, if you know what this smell is. It's 90 weight oil. This is a great smell. Keep going. Glad we didn't do this next to a wall. Make sure you got a buddy when you lift that, because if not, <laughs> yeah. you're going to have back problems in the morning. Yeah, or you pull a uterus or something. That's what she looks like in there. Let's get light. Let's see. Oh, yummy. Yeah, but it doesn't look that bad. Oh, the teeth look okay. Uh-huh. The teeth look good. You know, for right. as many hours around here, this thing is really tight. Now, what we want to do is take the top plate off and look in the differential. There's not a whole lot in there. You got your actual, your spider gears and your bull gears and brake shafts and that's all there is. If you're going to take out the plate, you got your bolts done, you got your pedals undone. If you look underneath, there's a spring right here and it is attached on both sides to the brake pedals. So you have to undo those. And that should be it. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. This is your ring gear, and that down there is your pinion. So that actually, those two gears make it 90 degree, basically. So that's your ring gear. These two gears here are your brake shaft stub gears and then they actually turn the bull gears and the bull gears are hooked to the axle turns the wheels what we're going to do is jack it up spin them So here we are with all of our game show today. We're gonna spin this reel. We have some cash to give away. So we're gonna take bets. What's your number, David? Five. 
What's your number, Trina? Two. Sam? Four. All right, so we're gonna spin this wheel here. Make sure you subscribe. And landed on number four. Now that is a tooth off of a gear. It's missing a couple of teeth, but three of them. Yeah. Wow. It's interesting though, the brake shaft looks awesome. So that is the gear that it would mesh to. Fortunately, we have a couple. No, as a matter of fact, we've got four of them out there. And that is why we bought two more. Mm -hmm. Little things like that. You don't know what you're gonna run into. Yep, and you can't order one of these from Amazon. No. Oh. Not for the price we bought those two. <laughs> no. How big of a bear is that to pull out? It's not really. Since ours has some pretty teeth that are missing, we decided to pull this one in. Slide this piece out. We got the sleeve off right there. We got the bull gear out. And while we were right here, I went ahead and took the rest of the brakes apart. So we got that extra pad out, as well as the middle piece of this sandwich, which we just took the two bolts off of. That piece slid out. So now we're gonna go to the other tractor. We're gonna take its tire off, and we're gonna go ahead and replace both bull gears. It's a lot of work. We got the snap ring off and we'll get the axle out. These little bolts here, and then we'll pull this bull gear up and we'll go over there with it. And that is why it's called the bull gear. God. There she is. Now we just gotta line it up, put it back together. And do this side. And do that side. All right. So this is where tools would come in handy if you have a cherry picker. And luckily Cody did. So we're gonna hook this axle up to it. And we're gonna guide it back into the hole, get this all lined up. We're gonna use some RTV as a silicone, as the gasket. There is a good one on there, but that's how you do it. Should be this one right here. This is probably the hardest part, man, is getting all this line back up. Yeah, let's hope so. You think there's gonna be something harder? I don't know. We're there yet.
Make sure you always use eye protection. We got this tire left to take off. We got the new wheel on here. We got the axle back in. We got the bull gear. We got the bearing back on, which we're not tightened yet because we're still gonna work later on how wide we want these. And there she is. In with the new. Now with the old. We're making some progress. guys so we finally got the bull gear in if you've been following along we have the donor tractor we have gutted it we've got the hubs off we've got the axle out the axle sleeve and then we pulled out the snap ring and then the, the bull gear comes out so it's a lot of work and honestly if you were doing this and watching this grab a partner <laughs> it's really heavy work and you honestly need two hands possibly even three make sure you're safe but she's done. We're gonna leave that wheel off for now. We got a little bit to do on this hub, but it's a whole different story. But yeah, we're coming along. So we went up to a local tire shop to get one inner tube for, I guess it would be the right tire. Yeah, the one that was flat on the other tractor that we're moving around. And here it is. We got the new dash protector on here. We gotta warm it up. It's sitting in the back of the tire shop, I guess. What'd you call it? It's Kentucky Airbag. Kentucky Airbag. It comes from a handbook. <laughs> we got a handbook that's really baby good. Out. Time. Got air in there. Took a little soapy water. But she popped. She's beaded. These tires are do good to roll around on. Yeah. Make it easier to move. This one here is pretty rough. Well, that wraps it up, guys. We finally got this thing back together. Honestly, it was a big piece of work. We got the bull gear in. Fortunately for us, when we went to Litchfield and got that other tractor, it had two good bull gears. So we, we gutted it, put it into here, because we went ahead and took off the rims off of it. So we, we took out the axles and then put those in. Put a new ring, the snap rings back. And then today we went through and we gutted some of the hardware off the one of the tractors and we rebuilt it, which you've seen on the brakes. So basically that does it for the rear end of this tractor. We still got a little bit to do. We're gonna get this cleaned up a little more, slap the cover back on it, 
and we'll make our way forward. But we're gonna have some parts left over from the tractors we've disassembled. So if you're looking for something, let me know in the comments if you're needing something specific, because we may have it. That about wraps it up for this episode. On the next one, we may be pulling this engine out. We're gonna get this out of here. We're gonna get it stripped and we're gonna do a rebuild. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. More's on the way. So, we're gonna clean out all of this.